okay block party grandma's recipe box this is for December we're going to do the December block now so I'll just show you a few tips not a lot you need here but um, for anybody that's a beginner and wants some ideas um, I'll give you, show you a couple of things so this is the um, the apple crunch block it would just use two colors plus background this time uh, lots of the one color very little of the other but just to make something kind of fun and different so it's uh, different from our traditional blocks that we normally make this is the Waldorf salad one go with all your 30s fabrics we're giving you and then this is the icebox cookies with the Christmassy look to it okay so um, First of all, I want to point out on the pattern that we've put in here uh, a little diagram of cutting out your background and your main color just to, so that you don't cut it, uh, go in the wrong direction and then run out of fabric. There's enough fabric there, but if the pieces aren't going the right way, you might not, you might find you don't have enough to cut out everything the way you need to. So be sure and follow those carefully. And then we're going to make little units, which is kind of like a flying geese, except in, instead of having a triangle on um, both corners at the, at the same side, they go on um, diagonal corners like that. So we'll, each block will have three of these. And then um, to complete the whole little block unit, each block unit will have three of these. Okay, so your plot. You're going to make a little block that looks like this, all right? And we will make four of these. And so that is what's going to give the whole design. <clears throat> so instead of doing this with a um, partial seam in it to go around your center block, we're going to use half square triangles to finish it off. So I'm going to start out with the, um, the making the little rectangle unit here. Okay, now the pattern says to draw a line on here. So what you do is draw a line and sew on the line. It's a great way to do it. And that's what we almost always put on our patterns. I don't do it that way. I use either the folded corner clipper or the mini uh, simple folded corners ruler from Doug Leco. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put that on there and cut that. And when you do that, you wanna follow the pattern exactly. So the same direction it has it on. You can't put it on there like this and, and have your line going that way. If you did, you'd probably have to do it with all of them. It might work if you did it with all of them. It would have your design going in a different direction. I haven't tried that out, so I think it would work, but um, just watch your pattern. Make sure that the line you're sewing or cutting along is exactly the same as it shows on the pattern. So we're going to cut that off and then go to the machine and sew that and then you're going to press it. The pattern says to press seam toward the rectangle so you can do that. I prefer to press mine towards the triangles and it works well going all the way around with seams being um, interlocked and nesting together not every way all the way around so when I come to a place where it doesn't I just twist the seam okay but um, either way it is just a little awkward pressing it towards the rectangle because it kind of gets a little misshapen there so it seems to work better going out to the triangle okay so we've got that then you're going to sew um, another one on here so we'll take another square Again, be sure you're going in the same direction, okay? Don't go like this or you're going to end up making a flying geese unit. So go in this direction here and cut that off again or draw your line, sew on the line. After you sew it, you press it and then they look like that, all right? Okay, so we have three of those for one of these um, quarter block units. And then to finish it off, you're going to make half square triangles. So again, your half square triangles, for each little block here, you'll have one set of these. So you're gonna make four sets of this for the four little blocks that go around there. Okay, again, draw your line across here and sew quarter inch on either side of the line, just like it shows in the pattern here. 
um, but I, like I've told you, I don't like to draw lines. I like to just cut it. And so I will just cut that and then sew my quarter inch line. So that's an option for you if you want to do it that way. And then you don't have to mess with um, drawing all those lines. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. And then you're just going to take them to the machine. I don't know if you can see the seam uh, stitching line in the camera there. It kind of blends in. But um, you will sew those, press them towards the dark like the pattern says. And then you're going to take either your tucker trimmer or your block lock ruler and cut up a nice little two and a half inch square. Okay, that didn't cut very well there. All right, get that cut off. Need a little sharper blade. And when your blade gets dull, you need to replace it because it isn't always going to cut well for you. You could, you'll, then you'll be pushing harder. When you push harder, you might push the ruler and it'll slip. You're also digging into the cutting mat and causing more wear and tear on that. Okay, so here's your nice perfectly squared up little half square triangles. Take one, sew it to the center square. Again, exactly like this. It'll show you in the pattern. Don't put it on there this way or this way or that way. It goes just like this, okay? So you put that on there, press towards the center, then you're going to start sewing these on. You're going to sew this one here, press the seams, then you're going to sew this one over here, press the seam. Okay, before you put that one on, you're going to add this to it. Okay, so again, this has to go on exactly like this. Not any other way, but just like this. Okay, you sew those two together, and this is what you have. All right, and then that will go right down there. So you have these three, bringing it around. These are connected here with half square triangles to make it look just like these units. And you have your finished little um, block. And um, the advantage of doing these half square triangles is that you don't have to do a partial seam. Whereas if you didn't have these, you'd have to start with a seam that's just partial. And when you get around, all the way around, you finish it. Maybe we'll do that in another block so you can have experience with partial seams. But for now, um, we did it this way. Uh, wouldn't this be great as a whole quilt made out of these? Or you can make uh, bigger blocks um, instead of little six inch units, make, you know, eight or 10 inch units and put them together in a block. And I thought they just turned out really nice. We're excited about them. Um, we got uh, just a white background again here. We'll eventually get some more prints for your backgrounds. And we do have a substitution of the green um, for now in some of the blocks, but they'll be just as pretty as can be. And we'll see you in here for block party. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.